Welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner again. And today we're going to discuss about week four operating system and you becoming a power user. So mainly in this week, we will talk about the file system and their types. So we're going to the first quiz of this week. So which is basically about the file system and types. So the first question of this file system and types is, uh, which, type, which of the following is the characteristics of FAT32 file system? Okay, so first of all, it doesn't support files that are larger than 4 GB. Yes, that's true. And it's read and write uh, compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux OSs. Yes, that's true. So here's another thing that I don't select, but you must select. This is its file system cannot be larger than 32 GB. Okay, no, that's not true. It supports files up to 8 GB in size. So its file size cannot be larger than 32 GB. This option will also be selected. Okay, so next question. What's the difference between a GPT and MBR partition table? Check all the replies. So MBR allows you to have volume size of two terabytes or less. And GPT doesn't have a limit to the amount of partitions that you can make. But GPT allows you to have volumes and sizes two terabytes or greater. MBR is lesser, but GPT is greater. Number three, before you can store files on a hard drive, which of the following has to be done? Format a file system and partition the disk and mount the file system. Okay, so number four, you want to format a partition with NTFS and you know that you will be storing, you will be storing will consist mostly of many small files. So what you can do is smaller allocation unit size. Okay. In Linux, what could be a device named dev as B as DB to refer to the second partition of the second hard drive detected on system. Second partition on the second hard drive is detected. If you want to save a space on Windows computer, deleting the page file.sys file is a good idea. No, that's not a good idea. That's a false idea. Okay, so the answer is actually written here. You can read this. So which of the following commands in Windows will create a symbolic link called cauliflower to a file named broccoli.txt? So this is the command mklink cauliflower broccoli.txt. True or false? In modern versions of Windows, it's necessary to periodically run a disk fragmentation process manually to keep your disk healthy. Yes, that's false. In Linux, what's the difference between the commands df and du? Check all the replies. df is used to find the amount of free space on an entire machine and du is used to find the amount of disk uses on a specific directory. In Linux, what's the difference between a hard link and soft link? A soft link is a file uh, points to a file name and hard link points to an inode. You can view the hard link count of a file using lsi. Although NTFS is largely a self-healing file system, which of the following tools can you run to try to locate and repair serious disk corruptions of C drive? CHDSK slash RC. Okay. If you want to automatically mount a file system on a computer startup, what file do you have to modify? Slash etc slash fs step. That's all. Thank you. Now we are going to our next quiz, which is basically not the quiz, which is basically the final graded assignment. So for this, we need to open the tool of Quick Lab. So welcome to Quick Lab once again. And pressing the Quick Lab, we are getting, okay, so you know what to do? Go for remote access. Open it. Copy the external IP address, paste it, enter, and copy the username and also paste it. Copy the password and also paste it, enter. And obviously, yes. Okay, so we already accessed our virtual machine. Now we have an overview to the disk partition on this window. So basically, what do we need to do? Okay, so we need to go to the security, system and security, then administrative tools, and then computer management. Okay, so basically, you can just go to computer management directly. Okay, so you can write on your search bar, computer management. Okay, so our remote connection is already established. We don't need the server manager. Cross it, so you can search here, computer management. Okay, so that's up, run as administrator. Okay, so that's up. So now what we need to do? Okay, so we need to go under, first of all, we need to select computer management. Then you see there's a storage. We need to go to the storage file. Okay, so then we need to select disk management. Okay, so first of all, the storage, then disk management. Okay, so there's the task, what we need to do. That's a little bit hard, but you need to know uh, uh, but you need to go through this very carefully okay so this will be mounted automatically you can see there is a c d both files okay so basically we need to right click on the disk d and then we need to shrink it okay so you you may not see the d file okay so for this what you need to do just enlarge it okay so here's the disk d okay.
okay so here you are copy student id paste at the rate copy ip address paste ssh auth browse where are you open open and yes that's it okay so now access now we need to block and partition so for this first will be isblk enter you can see so there is a sda value so da is the bfh okay so now we need to make the partition sudo so uh, so fdisk1 done and fdisk2 sdp is also done now we need to mount okay so what we need to do there is you need to edit something right so what you will do just correct the second drive right in case of second drive there will be sda okay so sda enter that's done okay so command m we can also use command m for help okay so in that case now there's the point you should be very careful about this what we need to do okay so you can enter p you can see the option p here right p enter okay so you can see the partition and now enter q okay so it's already exited exit i mean exits now we need to go for the second one again okay so now we need to go to the creating partitions so for creating partitions we need to make a new partition on f disk and the second drive into two partitions the one swap partition will be one gigabyte and the other will be nine gigabyte okay so for this we need to give the first command of sudo f disk on sda or second okay so second drive there will be sda enter okay so welcome to f disk you can see the welcome message okay so now what we need to do their instruction you can read the instruction you can use n okay but we need to delete first okay so for this we can use the common d okay okay so first of all we need to use the common m for help okay so again write the f disk so there was a mistake so there will be sda enter m enter and now will be d okay so that thing is deleted okay so partition one has been deleted you can see us okay so now we can do is n for our new partition okay so we will select p for the primary and there's a p since we enter the p by pressing enter now there is a question one to four you can see the default is one so we can enter one enter okay so now there is another response of the default value so 2048 will be your default value enter okay so we already entered it now the, our next so we should enter this value right so you can also copy this if you are that much lazy like me enter okay so oh oh so there is a mistake okay so again 209720 enter okay so this is selected and the size of created a new partition you can see already so that's it now what we can do we can use a new control for a new partition and okay so we will also select it as p p for primary and then default to value enter and now we need to set the default value okay so what the default value would be okay so first sector enter and last sector 205 okay so also enter the size of linux type is 9 gigabyte okay so that's it so we will now enter the t command okay so partition number they asked for default partition number two okay so now we will enter l for the list view okay so there's the list view that's a whole something okay so there's zero to write partition of beffe so we will go for 84 right os two are hidden so for everything so you can see the instruction we got the list so we need to so okay sorry 82 we need to put the value 82 which is basically the next swap okay so we already entered our value 82 and hit enter okay so linux swap or solaris are truncated okay so that's it uh, okay so we can now use two things we can use v okay uh, for the remaining unallocated sector okay so then we can use w for the partition table has been altered okay so the calling is done so that's all
partitioning is done you can check your progress okay so that's it your partition is done okay so now what we can do is formatting partitions using mf keys okay so for this we need to command the ls block enter okay so we got the list of our drives so now we need to enter the comment and in that case what you can do is just in case of second drive sda sda2 that will be our final destination okay so that's done you can check your progress extension 4 whether it is done yes that's done you can see your also score is updating and also now we are entering our last command I mean last task actually not the command so in that case we will also input sda2 as my home disk and now check your progress and that's it so that's all for week 4 and you can end your lab and your score will also be updated and don't forget to leave a comment right because you need to submit the 4 star okay so that's all and thank you for staying with us and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for the latest update and